Hey and welcome to Rodos Metal Reviews. This time it's American band Russian Circles with their instrumental post metal and this is the eighth album called Gnosis. Finally the band has always also been uh, accepted as part of Metal Archive's website which to uh, my surprise is a positive thing. The thing here is uh, for, for my in my opinion it has been metal uh, since I heard the band for the first time around 2010 and uh, really started to like it with their back then new album Geneva, third album in the making. And since then I've been following the band actively, seeing them uh, live here in Finland as well and uh, enjoyed pretty much all the albums. But I got to say that when they broke the pattern changing from one word names or titles to two uh, were titles with Bloodier in 2019. That was like a, something changed. It wasn't that good of an album, even though I really liked Geneva, Emperor's Memorial, Guidance, and I felt like those were the peak moments. But something was a little bit off with uh, Bloodier. I don't know exactly what, but while it was good, it really wasn't that good as the previous ones. Now it seems with Gnosis, things have once again changed, but only a little amount. I'm gonna say this uh, in a way that uh, I hope you understand it. While Gnosis is a very, very safe bet and nothing has really changed too much, and it reminds because of that very much latest Rammstein and Behemoth albums, uh, it is a good one, but there's something still very magical missing and that is where people can kind of uh, misunderstand the whole point here let me put it this way a good album for sure better than the previous one but not exactly the peak moments what's going on now let's try to uh, elaborate on that one. this album lasts for almost 40 minutes and it's very very traditional Russian circles albums in so many ways first of all as you can pretty much see from the track listing here on metal archives which I use as a backdrop yes it's fully instrumental there are no vocals there are no spoken parts there are nothing that absolutely goes like off the yard so to speak nothing goes beyond the fences or kicking them down it's very very safe Russian circles album in that respect but where it's also very safe and also in a good way is that you have those trademark guitars drumming and the bass it's very heavy it's very atmospheric in a way but it's maybe not that honest as some of the previous russian circle albums i mean obviously when we're talking about instrumental albums you cannot really lean on lyrics because there are none and the thing here is it leaves way more room for your own imagination to interpret this whole music like are they kind of conveying this kind of idea or is it more about that well it's pretty much up to the listener and these track names don't necessarily give you much of an idea what's going on i mean if you take a look at the obrale nine kind of a track name you probably have to do a little bit of a googling to figure out what it is or tupilak what does that mean? Bloom, betrayal. I mean, they can really spark your imagination in various ways. But then again, they are also very short titles. So they can be really, I mean, about anything. That's the beauty of it. And that's the one of the surprise elements. Because different people are going to, you know, feel differently all these songs. If you come from a background that is like uh, next to ignorant about post metal this might be as well as a good thing or really like oh that's putting me off i don't like this kind of stuff at all if you then again have a certain kind of liking to post rock or post metal well russian circle is giving you some good time i mean this is as if you're ready for a treat in my opinion gnosis is a very strong album even though towards the end it kind of uh, starts slipping it starts better than how it ends that's the point here but yes it's better than bloody year is that good as say guidance memorial old geneva well in my opinion not and this is something that might give you a little bit of a sense of disappointment minor albeit but still and this is something that i hope that russian circles would fix even though it's not technically speaking broken i mean 
all the songs deliver you kind of a Russian Circles quality. But much like the latest Rammstein album, it's nothing unexpected. It's more like taking some of the leftover pieces from the previous works and put them into use the best possible ways and just hope it sticks. Luckily for us, the fans, it does, but still looking for some kind of a magical moment you had previously. So would I recommend this album to people out there? Yes, most definitely. It's a good one. Sounds heavy and sounds fascinating, but is this kind of a deal breaker? I don't know so much about that. If you're new to the band, this is as good as any Russian circles to begin your journey with. But for those who are maybe, say, more picky about the given genre, this might not be the best way to do it. Nonetheless, Definitely a good album, solid 8 out of 10, so check it out. You will find links provided in the description box and it includes, for example, the Bandcamp link from which you can just give this album a listen and of course find a lot of more information. And if you get to see the band live, do it. I saw it roughly about 10 years ago, well more than that, but anyway, and I love it. I loved it and uh, I would definitely want to see this band and again, because it's so goddamn good and energetic. So, with this one, I hope you will give Gnosis a chance and maybe you will like it. See ya and bye bye.